Okay, hi there guys. Welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. This tutorial we are gonna continue uh, working the for loop. Uh, okay, so our problem for today is calculating the sine of an angle. Okay, so uh, let's say somebody asks you, uh, write me a program, I enter the angle in degrees, and the program should display the sine. So, how do you calculate the sign? Well, luckily we have Wikipedia uh, and could help us here. So, uh, if we move here, there is uh, a formula for it. Okay, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Okay, uh, where is it? I think... Uh, just a second... Did I skip it or what? Okay, there we go. So. Uh, check this out. You can see here uh, this Wikipedia page, this dead link over here if you'd like to. And here you see there is sine x equal x minus blah 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 blah. There are a number of terms. Okay, so if you apply this to the angle uh, multiple times and you find the sum, uh, you will end up with the sine of a given angle. Uh, so, how do you do something like this? Well, basically, uh, this could be treated as a summation. Okay, uh, this term, okay, uh, the first term is positive, the second term is negative, the next one is positive, the next one is negative. This is the first thing. The other thing you might notice that this, uh, check the power here. here. Here we have x to power 1, then we jump to x power 3, then we jump to x power 5, x power 7, and so on. So the value is being incremented, uh, or the increment here is being 2. Okay, so now, given these things, we will, we will try to write a program to solve the sign, or calculate the sign. So, here we go. Uh, first thing we want to read the value of the sign. So here I'm going to say uh, system uh, console right right line enter the angle okay and put the semicolon over here. So here uh, we need to say double. Now we are defining a variable of type double to precision. So here let's say angle equal uh, double dot parse and we say system console read line. Okay, so what this means we are going to read a line from the screen, we will parse it as a double value. Now this angle will be in degrees, so we need to convert that read angle. We need to convert that from degrees to radians. So convert the value to radian. Uh, uh, okay, so here uh, we have angle equals angle. Divide this by 180.0. I'd multiply by pi. So since I can't remember the value of pi, I could, you could copy that from Wikipedia, but I remember we used a formula for that, which is 22 divided by 7.0. This is not an exact value, it has some errors, but basically, I suppose it will do. Supposedly, it will do. Okay, so we have. Uh, the value is it radian or radiant? I think it's radiant. Okay, right. So anyway, now we need to find the term. So define the sum. Okay, and here we have double sum equals zero. Now we need to put a for loop. Now the question you might be asking is, well, from this equation you can see that the terms goes to infinity, right? So because here the summation is from zero to infinity. Well, what happens here? You can see the terms. Uh, each term is being divided by a seven uh, by a factorial, right? And these factorials are increased. Uh, and uh, if you remember, well, if you remember, factorials uh, grow very very large. So basically, later terms will be. Uh, very very small. Okay, so you can limit the number of terms being used here. Okay, 
So, um, in this case, I'm going to use, let's say, 10 terms. So, for int i equal uh, 1, i is more than 10, and i uh, equal i plus 2. Now, there's a number of things. You might be asking, why didn't you start from 0, and why i equals i plus 2? Well, because if you go here, you can see the terms, how do they increase? You can see x here is to power 1, here x is to power 3, here x to power 5. So here we are starting from 1, we, we don't care about the, uh, the even index. So for this reason, I, I'm using uh, the old ones, right? And uh, next you can see the increase is done by 2. Okay, so this is why I did it this way. Now, what we need to do is calculate a single term. So here we need to find uh, or calculate calculate x to power let's say i, right? Uh, or angle. So here we have double. I'm going to say x equals uh, one, and then for a j equal uh, zero, j smaller than what? i and j plus plus. Now this for loop is going to calculate the power. So x equals x multiplied by angle. Nicely done. So now we calculated the power. And next we need to calculate the factorial. Calculate factorial of i. So here I'm going to say uh, f equal 1. And here we have 4 uh, in j equals. Now I'm going to say j equal 2, and j is smaller than or equal to i, and j plus a plus. Okay, and here we have f, f multiplied by j. Okay, so the first one is going to calculate the power, and the second one is going to calculate the factorial. Okay, uh, now, since we finished these, we need to calculate the term calculate the term. So here double t for term it's going to be the power which is x uh, divided by the factorial which is f. So there's a little bit of trick here because you can see here this is the power divided by a factorial but first time is positive, next is negative followed by positive, negative, positive, negative. So how do you do that? Well there's a simple trick that you could do here which is, I'm going to say, uh, double sign equals uh, plus 1. Okay. Or you, could, you could say it's just 1, that's it. So all you have to do is say sign multiply by this term. Okay. Now what happens after calculating this term? The sign changes. Uh, from positive to negative. So you could say sine equals minus sine. Now, since this this term is being multiplied by, uh, uh, since this one is 1 and you are calculating it's negative, so it's going to convert from positive 1 to negative 1 to positive 1 to negative 1. And you are multiplying by this part, so at one time it will uh, make this term positive next it will make it negative and so on it will repeat and so on okay one last thing that we didn't uh, do invert the sign for a second is to perform the summation add to sum so I can say sum equals sum plus what t and after you exit this loop after calculating a number of terms like for example 10 terms I'm going to say system console right line. Oops. The angle is. And you put some over here. I put a semicolon. It's as simple as that. Uh, one last thing. Uh, let me see. Did I forget anything here? Mm, no. Uh, one, one thing I forgot. I'm sorry. It's system console read line. Put that here. And we're done. So let's calculate. Uh, let's run this and see how if it works correctly. So we have, let's see, the angle of zero. It's obviously zero, no problem. And uh, let's see, 
30. Uh, 30 is about 0 0.5 if I remember correctly. Uh, now, the error you are getting here is because the number of terms is not enough. So I'm going to increase this and make it, let's say, 20 terms. So it's uh, on 30, right? Yeah, maybe the value of pi I'm using is not accurate enough. So, anyway. Okay. Uh, let's use 60 over here. Okay, I can't remember the value of sine. Oh, wait a second. Let's use the calculator and compare over here. So, uh, let's say 30. And let's calculate the sine. It's 0 0.5. Let's use 60. And calculate the sine. It's 0.866 something, right? So, let's look here. Uh, 60. And... Uh, if we want to compare, we have 866. Okay, so it's close, but it's not uh, it's not very accurate. Okay, um, again, I think the reason for that is I'm not using uh, enough terms. Yeah, or the the value of uh, pi is wrong. So since I because of that, I'm going to say pi wikipedia, okay, and here I'm going to use the actual value of pi, Where's... come on, oh, gosh, this IP, not pi, shame on me, sorry guys, okay, uh, Oops, where is the value of it? Where is the value of our friend pi? Okay, the first one decimal digits are yeah, so I'm gonna use yeah, I think this will this will do. Okay. Uh yeah, so let's go here. I'm gonna modify this one. Oh, it's leaving the spaces. I'm not sure if it will. Okay, there's a limit for the number, but I think uh, this will do. This will do. Okay, so let's try this out and see if we're gonna get something accurate this time. Oh, you can see. So the value of pi I used, the previous value of pi was wrong. So here we are getting correct value. So let's uh, try this out with 60 and where's the calculator? So we have 866025 and uh, 4037844 and you can see there is 38. So it, our program stopped to this point but you can see now it's accurate, it's giving accurate answer. And uh, finally, we can run this and we give it a 90 and we should get 1 as expected. Okay, so uh, this was a very simple test for, uh, okay, or a simple program for calculating the value of pi uh, with the help of. Uh, Whoever wrote on Wikipedia the value of pi and whoever wrote the, the format uh, of calculating the sign, thanks to them, uh, we were able to calculate the sign value. Okay? And a similar technique you could use, uh, you could uh, calculate the cosine or tangent, etc. Okay? So, uh, I hope you'll find this program useful. The, uh, more importantly, I hope you know now how you could map such formulas into a program. Okay? And, uh, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.